Hello everybody. In this video we're going to take a look a little bit more at the filters. We've taken a look at filters in some earlier videos. In particular we've looked at the offset filter uh, and we've also explored the liquify filter. Um, but in this video we're going to focus on the filter gallery and to explore and experiment with these filters I recommend finding some uh, good photographs. Uh, in this case I've got some photographs that I took that uh, I thought would be good candidates to explore and experiment with these filters. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll take a look at this image here uh, that I took in a field and we'll go ahead and try applying some of our different filters to it and see what kind of effect they have. So I've got my uh, image selected here and I'm going to go to filter, filter gallery which will open up this interface here. Uh, I'm going to use, you'll notice down here that you can zoom in and out on your image here uh, so I'll just kind of zoom out a little so that we can uh, take in the whole image and we'll just start exploring some of these different filters. So the first thing that you'll probably notice is that the filters are divided into sections. We've got artistic, brush strokes, distort, sketch, stylize, and texture. Let's take a look at some of the artistic effects. We won't look at all of them, we'll just select a few of them to take a look at. Uh, and the first one we'll take a look at will be the cutout. So we currently have the cutout applied. And what you'll notice is after applying the cutout filter, we do have some uh, parameters that we can change here. In this case, number of levels, edge simplicity, and edge fidelity. So if we bring down the number of levels currently set to six, let's say we bring it all the way down to two, you'll see the effect that that has. Or if we bring it all the way up to eight, you'll see the effect that that has. We bring it down, let's say to a level of five and then try out the edge simplicity. Crank that up, see what effect that has. Bring it back down. And then we also have our edge fidelity. And you can see the effect that that's having. The key to exploring these filters is, again, really just find some good photographs or images uh, and then just go through and explore all these different filters. Now, I don't exactly have a plan for this, for how to systematically try out these different filters right now. And we're certainly not going to take a look at all of them because as you can see, there are a lot of them, but uh, we can try a few more. Let's try the palette knife, for example. And you'll see the, the effect that the palette knife has on this image. We're no longer looking at it with the cutout. We're now applying the palette knife. Once again, you can see that there are some parameters here, three, stroke size, stroke uh, detail, and softness that we can explore. Uh, and it's really just a matter of trying out these uh, sliders and seeing what effect they have on it. Let's move on to the uh, brush strokes category and see what kind of uh, filters we have there. So uh, again, we won't try out all of them, but we can try out a few of them. Uh, for instance, let's try the splatter filter. And 
and you can see the effect that that's having. Now, when you're uh, satisfied with the filter that you've applied to your image or to your layer on your image, uh, you can simply click on OK here, and then you'll return back to the standard Photoshop interface, having made that change to your layer. Let's try out a couple more uh, filters, and maybe we'll try it on some other images. Uh, perhaps we can try out this one, for example, these flowers on this tree, on a dogwood, I believe. So, uh, once again, I'll go to Filter, Filter Gallery. We'll zoom out a little. And we'll try some of these other uh, categories of filters, such as the distort, where we have diffuse glow, glass, and ocean ripple. Uh, once again, we've got the different parameters to the left, where we can change, in this case, the ripple size, as well as the ripple magnitude. Let's move on from Distort. We'll try Sketch. And you can see that there's a number of different filters we have to choose from here. Uh, some of these filters will make it look more like graphic pen, as if it had been drawn, let's say, with a hatching, a hatching technique, for example. Uh, torn Edges. Stamp. And of course, we have our properties uh, to the right that we can adjust to fine tune these filters. And with, as with the previous example, when you've settled on the filter that you want to apply and you've made your adjustments to it, simply click on OK and it'll return you back to the Photoshop user interface. One thing uh, that needs to be mentioned is that uh, some of these filters uh, depend on the colors that you have selected as your foreground and background color. So in the case of this image, for instance, if I go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and uh, go over to some of these sketch filters, for example, and we take a look at those, you'll see that they're in fact using um, my foreground and background colors uh, for the effect. Let's try another example. Uh, this time, perhaps this butterfly. Uh, I'm going to go back to Filter, Filter Gallery, and we'll try some of these others. We'll look at Stylize and Texture. Now, in Stylize, I believe there's only one option here, the glowing edges, and you can see the effect that that's having. Uh, but the texture category has a, a few interesting ones that we can also take a look at. We have this patchwork, which is quite interesting. We can adjust the square size and the relief. And the stained glass one is also an interesting one.
So as you can see, the filter gallery is quite easy and quick to use. Uh, my own personal opinion on it is that it's a lot of fun to play around with. It's a lot of fun to uh, check out the effect that these filters have on images, but I wouldn't overly rely on them because I think that you can run the risk of uh, creating something that is a bit gimmicky. Uh, so just be careful with your use of these filters uh, because it really is way too easy to just take an image such as this one, uh, go to the filter, uh, filter gallery and, uh, and apply a filter for uh, an interesting effect. Uh, I'm going to try out one of the artistic ones, such as Palette Knife. Maybe make it look a little more like it's a painting. And then apply the effect. So the effect is quite interesting, uh, but as I said, it can at times also be a bit gimmicky or uh, people will very easily be able to identify, for instance, uh, that you've used something like a watercolor filter or the uh, stained glass filter that we looked at earlier. So explore these tools, explore these techniques, have fun with them, uh, use them when appropriate, but uh, just bear that in mind. Be a bit cautious with them that you don't take your work in the direction of being uh, simply gimmicky.